today, guys. I didn't get any cash, and this is the worst thing you can do, is to not get cash before you come to the flea market. So I'm gonna do it in, I'm gonna do it in there and hope that we don't lose any opportunity. We got Fabs here. Fabs is gonna make sure he hunts down all the video games while I'm getting cash out. Best of luck. Thanks, man. How you doing, mate? Yeah, good chat Yeah, not bad. How much on the DVDs? Uh, dollar each. Dollar each. No video games, eh? Um, how old video games? I got on PlayStation 1. Yeah, that'd be good. Oh, cool. Any games in there or just the... Uh, I think it's Crash Bandicoot and maybe a sports one as well, but yeah. apart from that, yeah, not a lot. Do you know if she works okay? Oh, last time we had a gun, yeah, it was all right. Yeah, okay. How much on it? No, anyone pay for it. Happy to take your price. Should we call it 100? Mm. It's got how many controllers? Uh, two. Two. Did you go 60? Mm. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, of course. Call it 80 and we're done, mate. Go 70. Come on, mate. You're killing me here. You're killing me. <laughs> Gotta eat for that. 70 and I would. Done. Alright, thanks, mate. Wait, wait. Yeah, cool. I know he's got more than that, Gabby. <laughs> Amazing. Cool. Thanks, mate. Have a good one. All the best. Where'd you get there? So, we've got a PlayStation 1. I think I haven't seen all the games in here, but there's a lot of games in here. Well, it is a winner. Second edition, open it up and have a look. It'd be complete. It's brand new, apparently. Is it? Yeah, but like it's all in the packet and everything. Oh, that's perfect. I bought it for you. For me? Yeah. Mate, they sell for you. No, I don't want it. I don't want it. You don't want it? Yeah. Why? Give, give me five bucks. Give me five bucks. I'll find you. Uh... Give me five bucks worth of a listing or something. something good. Why don't I give you five bucks cash? Yeah, that's fine. Five bucks. And you can find yourself a hundred dollar item with it. All right. There you go. Thank you, mate. Have a day. That's so nice. It is nice. Did New. You buy it for seven dollars. So. Must have got it for five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Could not have a profit or a money back situation. Probably got it for three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he would have. It's not new, but it's complete. Yeah. That's the best thing about this game is that there's literally nothing required to have it be complete. Yeah. There's not a lot of pieces. How much on the box? Five on that one, and this one? Five and five? And then how about this one? Two a book. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. I'll go these, I'll go 10 on those. Okay. Thank you. Ta. No worries. We'll put them up. Thank you very much. Yeah, well, the rule here, Fabs, is you got to tip the busker for good luck. So when she starts up, we're going to drop a coin. There's a guy over there that thinks he's got um, thinks he's got season eight of The Simpsons and it's worth sixty dollars. And I hear him every week. He's like, "No, it's rare. It's super rare. It's worth nineteen dollars." <laughs> what have you found, sir? <laughs> hey? No. Nothing. No. Of course, you never, you never not do well. How much on the DVDs, my friend? They're all individually priced. Oh, that sounds nasty. <laughs> <laughs> it's the last thing you want to hear at the flea. Uh, what about these ones? Uh, they're all five dollars, I think. Fives, okay. Uh, um, they've all been checked against CX, which is why I priced them up. So this is what I'd get trading for them. Okay, that's fair. Um, what about this one here? Fives. Five each, I think. Yep. Okay. Um, and then what about that series? I'll do the lot for 50 if you want. 50 on the lot. Could we go 10 on this? 10 on that? Yeah. Yep. I'll take that. And then what about the book series down here? Yeah, yeah, like, 20, 20, 20 on that. Um, would you go 15 on that? Uh, yep. I don't know, mate. If you know what you're doing. Okay, I'll take your one dollar. This way, Ari, 25. Thank you, sir. Lovely. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Keep buying big, heavy stuff today. Um, Jonathan <laughs> Creek, Jonathan Creek, one to four. Bit of show and tell, mate. Yeah. Got that for five bucks. 
Five bucks. I actually bought one yesterday for five. Oh, did you? Oh, nice. It's the exact same model and everything. That's awesome. So I can just relist it. Okay. Um, they're right. The Insta? Like 40. Insta Mini? And then um, for I 10? these, which none sell, but there's only one listed for 140. You love your cars. Well, they're like, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, but that brand. Very popular model car here. Okay, try and pronounce it for the camera. Linza Sangyo. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I want to say that's my. I always do that's really good. terrible pronunciations of things. Yeah, I've, so, I've noticed. Yeah, <laughs> you're much better than me. Uh, that's good. That's a good start. Yeah. I reckon you got a few more in you. You see that perfect zero there? Mm. $50. Oh. Project Zero. You can take it out of there if you want to look at it. How does it, um, how's it go on eBay? Do you know? I don't know, I don't do eBay. Oh, that's you don't? A, that's a hundred bucks on, on eBay, they're selling it for. Is it? That's Project Zero too. So, it sells for at most 70. So 50 and 70, even 40 is probably not worth it. As soon as I saw it, even like when you see that where it's like, it's got its price tag, it's quite high, quite high. Still, if it is 100, it's worth it. So it's always worth checking. You can't balk on the price. Appreciate it, mate. That's epic. Yeah, we've That's come unreal. from um, rural South Australia, so we're up here. Oh, South Oz? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. How long are you here for? Uh, for a week. Oh, nice. Yeah. Awesome. So, yeah. Well, this is a place to be on a Sunday. It's beautiful. Pick the it? right it's location. Beautiful weather, yeah. 32 and hot, but this is this is a good market. Yeah. It's, um, there's plenty of stuff here. This is my YouTube channel. What do you got? Oh, you got an got AFL this. channel? Yeah. <laughs> Pokemon? Yeah. Well, it's a bit of an old source, isn't it? Yeah, what yeah, do you, I've what got do you call it? 40 subscribers. 40 subscribers. <laughs> oh. Quisty hashtag north. Yeah. 41 now. 41 now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to subscribe. <laughs> okay. I'm going to subscribe. Unreal, mate. Thanks, mate. Keep nice going. To you. Nice to meet you. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> you find everything down here at the fleet. <laughs> it is very, very hot today, and we were carrying around so many big items that we've just gone ahead and thrown it all, thrown it all into the boot, and we're doing okay so far. The biggest and the best is obviously that PlayStation One console bundle. Um, love the fact that we've got a, a Crash Bandicoot and a Crash Bandicoot Three warped. I don't know about the other games if they sell for any any amount of money, but we'll have a look when we get back home. V Rally, Moto Racer 2, and this Toka 2 Touring Cars. I don't know if that's worth anything. But all the games are in there. The console probably needs a clean. Uh, and then we've got two book series and a board game. We've got Jonathan Creek and a Goosebumps as well. Um, don't know what about Jonathan Creek, uh, Creek because it's a Region 2, which is fine, but Region 4s are always preferred. I didn't see that when we were going through it. And then the Goosebumps, Kate raised a really good point around that. That's gonna be pretty heavy to ship. It's probably gonna cost 15, 20. So that's 35 out of pocket. What are you selling it for? Well, in my mind I had 50, but I'm probably gonna to have to go higher. So I don't know what the comps say, but probably have to go 70 to make it worth it. Absolutely miserable day today, guys. But we're gonna go out and do some thrifting and hope for the best. First item up is this Game of Thrones board game. Now, this is the second edition. It was only $12, but there was a nasty little tag on here that I didn't like the look of. It said that it wasn't checked. That's too much effort for me. I'm more than happy to put that one back on the shelf and let somebody else handle it. This, however, was a great buy. We've got Wally's World. Now, this is a set of uh, magazines. And I did some research into this. I wanted to do a lot of research. It was only $3, but I wanted to see if a big bulky item like this was worth my while. The one single se uh, series here was going for $42. There was also a three series set here, magazines one to $39 for $85. I've got every single one here. I've got the complete set. And that goes anywhere between 120 to 150. There's only two listings on eBay right now, so I might price mine up for about 110, and we'll see how we go. This is the first time I've had to actually say no to a pair of shoes I really like the look of. 
which is really quite hard to do. But I've got these here, which are the Gel Quantums, a great colorway, $20. If you were doing your shoes, you'd definitely do it. But that is not me anymore. I've got this one here. We've got the Hornblower DVD, the complete series set. Now, I did some research on this, which is what you should always do. And it turns out it's only worth $34.95. So $12 in store actually isn't worth the purchase. Nine times out of 10, I would have bought that thinking there was profit. This one right here, Pokemon X and Y, hardcovered bookcase. Really love the look of this. I should get about $30. Not too bad when you're only paying the $2 in a thrift store. Always look for your Pokemon stuff. I always find that that does really, really well for me in any make or model. Now, I've got this one right here. We've got a Lego set. Now, I'd love your opinion on this in the comments below. It was $30 for the lot. I see this stuff all the time. I always pass on it. How many kilos are you meant to get? What's the ratio to make it worthwhile? Is $30 a good buy for this allocation? Let me know. This was a much easier uh, go ahead. I've seen that this has all been ticked off and tested. Telstra TV modem. I've gone ahead and looked up some comps uh, for this one. It turns out it's worth about seventy odd dollars. So we'll shoot for about sixty or seventy and hope for the best on that. It's always these little electronic devices that do quite well from an average sale price perspective. Um, I've got this one here as well, GoPro, which is something I'm always looking for too. This one on this occasion, unfortunately, nothing more than about $15. Uh, so I left it back on the shelf at a $6 buy. Uh, but this one here did catch my eye actually, uh, really caught my eye. Panasonic SLSSX 500. Well, that was going for some pretty decent money. Yeah, great. Oh, that's awesome. And it looks like it would work. Looks pretty new and well we, we can get a cd if you want no that's Put all it right in. it looks clean it I does doesn't it i only got the 12 dollars price mm. on it too i'm pretty sure also i'll take both of those take those thank you pretty amazing little run there guys that panasonic i swear it is it has almost never been used Incredible condition, an old school thing like that. I think we can get upwards of maybe 80 to maybe even $100. And we only paid the 12 bucks. It's even got its original box as well, which I think is brilliant. Um, now this actually caught my eye, all thanks to Jamie, who you would have seen in this video in the flea market with me. He's only 16 or so. He's a pretty young dude, but he knows his stuff. When I go out and I look for these sorts of things, it's because of him. He always cleans up on these sorts of modem devices and I saw it, comped it up, and was going for about 60 or 70 odd dollars as you saw. So always pays to watch what your friends are doing in this world of reselling, but also too, what people are doing on YouTube. Now you guys can go out with that knowledge and buy portable CD players, TV modems, just like me, and even some Wally's World because those magazines look pretty good too. Isn't this a very different looking shot to normal? Crazy. We have no shoes for the very first time. This is the first time you're probably seeing our big empty rack of what used to be shoes. Um, sold them all on Sunday, just yesterday. Um, so yesterday these shoes were cleaned out completely and it was actually kind of relieving to see them all go. And then on Saturday, if you guys haven't watched our video that's already on the channel right now, we picked up this sign. If you want to do a zoom in close up of that, Kate, um, really cool sign that we picked up for $20 it's actually double-sided LED lit, watch out there. You can see that there, it's brilliant. And we've actually been inundated with offers for this. It was a $20 purchase and we've had a couple of $650 offers. But then the people that didn't offer said that you could probably likely get $1,000 for it. So I'm tempted to put a three-day live auction for the very first time. I've never done an auction on eBay, but I think this is the perfect sort of an item to put up for auction. I'm gonna to hope to get $1,000 for it. 20 bucks into 1,000 would be the best flip we've ever done in here. Um, but for now, I think it suits the video game wall perfectly. Uh, and it all lights up, we've got the connecting cable running all the way around the room, but I think it is still worth it because it looks great. Um, some numbers over here on the whiteboard, we've got some B-roll for you guys to check out closely. Um, we've got $2,673 so far for the month of October. Um, so that is above average for us because that's only six days and we normally do about two and a half grand for seven days. So we're already above average with a day up our sleeve. Uh, so we're averaging $411 in sales for the last week, um, which is incredible because Courtney's obviously not been here. So this has just been me basically doing, doing all the work for a normal week of eBay and yet we're doing better. And I think that ultimately comes down to one, the stock that we've been able to source recently has been pretty epic. We've got a lot of video games that have gone in that have done really, really well. Um, but also too, the time of the year, it's October. So October, November, and the first half of December, 
This is like the best time of year to be an eBay seller. These next 10 weeks, you should be going super, super hard to try and list up as much as you can because right now, there's so many more customers trying to buy your items. So it's a really cool time to be an eBay seller, especially if you're only just getting into it. You get some quick wins, pushes you into the new year, and then you're, you're laughing. Um, so for what I want to do for the rest of this is uh, this little period here in the garage. We may go out and do some thrifting. I'm not sure how the video will end, but I do want to do a what sold segment for you right now. Um, we've got 17 sales that are going to go into the mailbag. It is actually a public holiday today. So we're all out of whack here with this video, but there's going to be shipments done tomorrow. Uh, so we're still going to accumulate some sales for the rest of today, but we're already at 17. And there's some really, really good sales to take you through. Three of them, well, two of them actually are over $200. Some big ones. So let's do it. Perry, are you going to help us? Or are you just going to stay there? Uh, oh, what? Just nap. That's staying there. What I'm not liking about this room though, as much as that side of things was looking good, this side of things where Kate was standing before, as you can see, is a bit of a mess. We've got a lot of stock on the ground here that I'm still to go ahead and list up today. Um, so the thrift stores are closed on this public holiday. Um, but I've still got a bunch of stock that I can be working on listing up. I haven't listed up $500 yet today, and we're only on $20 in sales, and it's almost lunchtime. So we've got a bit of work to do today to get this live, so therefore we can have sales come through. But um, I'm going to clean out all of these boxes as well. I've got to do something about this space, because I have a rule in this garage to have nothing on the carpet. And right now, half of the garage, we've got carpet allocated. This is the first sale. We've got WrestleMania. Uh, this WrestleMania DVD has been our cheapest sale of the weekend, $18.95. Unfortunately, I think the thickness of that cake might mean we have to put it into a small satchel. You might be able to squeeze it into a medium truck envelope. I'll see how we go. Um, we may get away with it in an envelope. Because of the cheap price, I'm going to try for an envelope. Um, but you've only got 20 millimeters to play with when you do the uh, medium track post envelope. So this could be slightly over. This is the gift that keeps on giving cake. This one right here, we've got some uh, film. Some uh, film for the film camera. This is from Extra Film. I don't even know the details or the specs around this sort of stuff, but we've got, we've got 20 of them or 19 of them to sell, and we're selling them at 20 bucks a piece. This is the second one that we've had sell for $20. So you add all this up, there's about $380 worth of value. And this was like a little throw-in allocation off all of the camera accessories and cameras that we bought down here. Um, so as you can see down here in our, in our camera gear, um, there's not a lot of cameras left. We've just got, we've got three, maybe five or six cameras left and we had 13 come through. So we've sold half of them already and we've only had them for a week and a half. So the sell through rate in the digital and the film cameras are really, really good. And then we've got these additional things like this that are starting to come through and sell too, which is just filters and things like that. But a $380 bag, two of them already selling, that's a nice little additional accessory that's coming through for us as well. This is Kate's. She's got an old GoPro. You haven't listed it up yet. I need to clear it. Yes. Oh, you got to clear the... Um, the card. The card. What's on there? Travel pictures. Where were you? Vietnam. Vietnam. Hero 3 Plus, an old school GoPro. And look, you've got all of your accessories in there too. Mm -hmm. And you've got the original box. GoPros can sell for really good money and a really quick sell-through rate. So once that's been cleared, we'll sell that for you. That'll sell really quickly. Um, Justified is the other DVD set that we've had come through here. Bit of a cheap one. I think it was $19.95? Can't remember. I think it was 20 bucks. 20 bucks on that um, small satchel, very bread and butter, nothing to talk about it. We're just going to put it into a satchel and that'll be out the door. Now, I was in a thrift store probably a week or two ago, and I only bought one item. I think it was on, on um, a, a video as well. Um, you guys may have remembered that I found this in a 50 cent bin, Lano and Woodley, the complete collection. Just one random DVD that I ended up walking away with. I literally put 50 cents on my card and walked out of there. I felt so silly. Um, there was actually a lady that said, do you, do you want 50 cents? I can lend you 50 cents to pay for it. And I said, no, I'll put it on the card. Um, so that's all I grabbed, but it turned into a $25 sale price and it sold in a week. So that will definitely go in a medium uh, track post envelope because that does fit the, the two centimeter width. Um, so yeah, 50 cents into 25, take fees and posts. We make about 17, 18 odd dollars in true profit. That's pretty good. 
Uh, we've got this as well, which we were talking about prior with those accessories for the com uh, for the cameras. Um, this is just a spare Canon charger. A lot of people in recent videos, when I had that um, video go out about the purchase of the cameras, said that I should hold on to a few spares. Um, I am going to continue to do cameras, but I don't know, I've just got this real mentality around whatever I buy, I like to just try and just sell again. It, it just saves me having to clutter up the house with stuff that I might not need on a regular basis. Um, maybe chargers is something I would probably need on a regular basis. But even though I'm a, I'm a reseller, my mind is very minimalist. So that's why I get things like this and I'm like, just list it, just get it gone. I don't want it. Um, $24.95 is what we sold that for. So hopefully, if we need a Canon charger down the line, we could find another one uh, because this sold in the space of a week. So there are people, probably like me out there, that are minimalist too that need these things because they get rid of them too. I really wish that I could say to you that we've just sold this. That'd be nice. We've listed this up for 250 or $275, something ridiculous, um, but it's not. We haven't sold it. It was just next to what we did sell, um, which is this one here, the Carry On Collection number three. Would not recommend that you buy this. <laughs> we sold it for $25. It's going into a small satchel. We will profit on it, but I reckon I've had this here in the collection for maybe two years. Wow. A long time. The reason why is just because it's collection number three. If this was every collection in the series and we had a big fat stack, it probably sells in a couple of months. But when you've only got one series or one season or one part season one and two, um, they just take forever to sell. It's not that it's a bad item, it's just that it's not complete and that just slows up the process. So we did get 25, it's not too bad, but like I said, if I'm in a thrift store, I'm probably saying no to something like this. This is another similar example as well. We've got the TV show, The Walking Dead here. Now I've got seasons one, two, three, and then five and eight, so a partial season set of The Walking Dead. I'll put up on screen, not that I know, I'll put up on screen the complete series set of what this is actually worth. Um, we sold ours for $34.95. It did just take a little bit longer to sell because it was a part season set, but I talk about it all the time with DVDs especially, um, that if you have just a small allocation, that's just what you've ended up finding in a big bulk buy or something like that, um, just still go ahead and pick it up. Um, I wouldn't probably spend $2 a piece in a thrift store though. That would be probably $10 in a thrift store. And I don't think to list it up as a partial season set for 35 would be that worth it. Um, but if you got it in a big bulk buy, it only costs you 20 cents each, something like that. I would, I would go ahead and list it up as it is, as a partial. Uh, and then you could always add to it. You could buy a season four um, to help complete this a little bit more in a thrift store for $2. Um, so it's just what it comes down to from a purchase price perspective. Um, but partials are definitely still something to go, go with. Um, it'll just to take a little bit longer to sell. All right, we've got another one, a really big uh, DVD series. This, this is Baywatch. Um, it only sold for $34.95, another $35 sale price. I think the width of this is gonna mean that we've got to put it into a medium. I'm pretty certain that'll go into medium and it could be about $12 to $14 for that. Um, so it's not gonna be a huge turnaround in profit. This came out of a bulk buy. Um, so we don't have too much money invested into the initial purchase. Um, but I, I'm pretty certain that Baywatch in a complete series set is mega dollars. Um, if you find Baywatch Nights, there's only two seasons of that show out there and I think it sells for about 500. I could be wrong, but that's only two seasons worth of a TV show for $500. So add that to your list. Um, but Baywatch for $34.95 and a medium satchel, it's okay. Heading over to our pretty cool video game cabinet. I always like to film here now. It's just so nice. Um, we've got Duke Nukem on the Nintendo 64. Duke Nukem, you ever, did you ever play that? No. Neither did I. Neither did I. Um, it is worn. It's not uh, clean by any means. It's got its horrible sticker on it as well. I think if you were to polish this up, maybe you could get slightly more of a top dollar. Um, but we still found ourselves with a $39.99 purchase price on this. So a good sale. Um, not sure exactly when I got this. I think it was in a big bulk buy. It may have been off Selwyn, which was a big video game. Um, collect that I did a little while ago, about three months ago now. So this could have about a 90 day sell through rate on it. Um, but I do love vintage video games. We actually don't have too many in true vintage games. There are some PS1 games that we're trying to sell here. Um, we've got this really cool game here that for some reason just hasn't sold. Um, we've got Aero Acrobat number two. That one does really, really well with great comps on eBay, but for some reason we haven't sold ours. So anyway, it's a great category, guys. It is our number one best-selling category this year, and we sell them like this very regularly. Geez, the books are doing really, really well. We're getting some great sales come through. This is the series of Go Girl. A um, bit of a mixed bundle here of Go Girl. I can't remember how many books there were there, but there's over 20-odd. 
Um, we got a $40 sale price on these. So this wasn't a crazy grab. I, I don't know if we're gonna be making too much money on that $40 sale price. I think I had it listed up for 50 and I took a best offer. So it's not probably the best example from a profit perspective, but this bookcase has done really, really well for us this year. So much so that I'm actually thinking of expanding books potentially into the tubs that are now empty because the shoes are gone. Um, if you guys are wondering what we're gonna fill that shoe tub up with, um, it's gonna be more video games once that video game cabinet is full. And then we're gonna put some DVDs, probably the DVDs actually off this cage. Everything in this shelf here, which is full of DVDs, we're probably gonna first move that across. And then that'll free up this entire space here, which will probably just be empty. Um, but we'll continue to fill things up and potentially have all of these two racks right here as just DVDs and video games only. We are moving more into a media house than anything else. Um, but these books are doing really well for us as well. I'm gonna to start to buy a few more of these because they do turn around for some great money. And I still personally find them fairly cheap in thrift stores. That's why I'm buying them. All comes down to the purchase price where the shoes, we haven't been buying them as much and therefore not selling them as much because they have been going up in thrift stores, 15, 20 bucks a piece. You just can't make margin when you're paying 20 to $25 for a pair of shoes. Um, so yeah, we go ahead with this. This will go into a box. Not the greatest of profit in this one. But like I said, it's a category I like to sell. All right, this is our next one. You guys may have remembered that I was down at the flea market uh, on a rainy old day down at the flea and uh, I picked this up for $10. That was last Sunday, so it was eight days. Uh, this sold yesterday, basically a week. It took a week to sell this. Um, Peyton Manning, I'm pretty sure it's Peyton Manning. Could be wrong. I won't ask you, because I don't reckon you'll know it either. <laughs> um, this one sold for $40, guys. So 10 into 40, bread and butter winner. When we're doing our clothing, we are selling sports gear because they do turn around really quick compared to standard clothing. Um, so yeah, I was really happy to see that come through. We should make ourselves maybe 15 to 20 dollars in true profit here's another dvd complete series set that always does uh really well we've got prison break um so this one sold for 50 dollars, 49 bucks um beauty of it is there are only five dvds in it so we can just put some bubble wrap around that put it into a small satchel job done so can't exactly remember where i bought this for or how much i bought it for but it's one of those ones that i'll pay upwards of 15 dollars for in a thrift store 15 into 50 you generally make yourself about 15 bucks in true profit so um, this one did sell pretty quick. Like I said, I don't know where we got it from, but I know that I only recently listed it. Um, so nice to see it come through fast. Two pieces of clothing. We've got this one here to kick things off for $50. This is the Rolling Stones Lick Tour, 2002-2003. Check out some of the names and the locations, is it, on the back there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Now, this is terribly cut up and worn, as you can see there. Some big, big holes in this, even the collar. Have a look at the collar on that absolutely torn to shreds it's on an anvil tag which is true vintage um it's not a nice tea it's yellowed but it is vintage it says 2002 on it um 50 bucks for it i found this in a private pick probably about a year ago um and i had it listed up quite highly i think i think i had i think believe it or not with these vintage teas i tried for 100 bucks uh, i mean it's the rolling stones it's still pretty cool um, but then a best offer came through just over the weekend for $50, 40 bucks off. And I'm like, look, it's been there for a year. I may as well go ahead and take 50 for it. I've profited on everything else I bought back then. Um, so that's the way I like to look at it sometimes. Um, I bought this in a thrift store about a week or two ago. So this one was a really fast sell through, right? A bit like the jersey, the, the New York Giants jersey that we just looked at. Um, this one was a Mike Bibby. Um, this one, hardwood classic, completely genuine, Vancouver Grizzlies. Um, there's a little tag down there. That, that looks all pretty good and genuine to me. 1998, 1999, Mike Bibby. You know he's a bodybuilder now, Kate? Cool. From when he played basketball to what he is now, he is a blimp right now. <laughs> you can't recognize him, Mike Bibby. Um, anyway, this was a size XL and it sold for $52. So that's bloody epic because I think I only paid $15 to $20 for it in the thrift. Um, so really fast sell through rate, good profit on that. We might make ourselves maybe $15 to $20 in profit. Um, and yeah, $100 in just two clothing items. The next three, one's over 100, and then two, like I said, are over 200. So here it is. This is a, a big TV show to add to your bucket list. It's called Peak Practice. I had personally never heard of this. 
Peak practice uh, came through in a bulk buy that I did not too long ago. Um, would have had myself in at about 50 cents a piece on these. So we're talking about $3 worth of the purchase price. Um, I have every single episode, I believe, of this show, one to six, season one to six, um, international sale. This one's heading off to Thailand, of all places. Um, and we got an $80 sale price plus $35 worth of international shipment, which it should cost about $35 to get it over there. Um, so total revenue, we've got $115 into these six seasons. So if you haven't found this, um, definitely add it to your list and keep your eyes out for it. Big, big sale. Now, like I said at the start, guys, if you haven't watched the video of yesterday's garage sale where we bought this, you really need to. I'm going to link it in the description so you can easily find it. This also came from the sale. So we're going to potentially get a grand on the sign, but this game was also found for just a dollar. We paid just a dollar for this. This is Yakuza Dead Souls Limited Edition Steel Case, and it's mint. It is like really, really good condition. Check that out. You've got the manual that comes along with it. You've got the disc, and then when you pop the game out and you have a look at the quality of the disc, it is like never been played. Really good. Now, I did price it up as the, the fourth lowest price on eBay, but there were only four listings for this, so it meant that I was the cheapest. Um, didn't undercut the market or anything, but I listed it up for the $209, which was also the cheapest sold price out of, I think, only two sales. I think it sold, one sold for 320, and then the other one sold for a best offer at 210. Um, so I listed mine up for 209, and this sold potentially, I'm thinking, let me know if you're watching out there, think to a viewer of the audience because I published the garage sale video and then within 30 minutes, this sold. Is that just a coincidence or is there somebody out there that didn't let me know that they bought this off the video? Regardless, if we had still waited it out, I still feel like we would have got this for $209. Um, an awesome sale. We're probably gonna put it into a small satchel. Normally, 20 mils, obviously the medium track post envelope, but I think with a $209 sale, we're gonna put a bunch of bubble wrap around it, no dents in the steel case and then put it into a small satchel. We'll pay an extra $2, which doesn't matter when you're buying it for a dollar and you're selling it for 209. Here it is, number one. We have a really, really nice tea, uh, jersey here, vintage jersey, the Illawarra Steelers. Now, this is probably a size medium, maybe a size large. I actually didn't stipulate in the title uh, what size it was. I literally just left it uh, in the description with centimeter measurements. Um, I did a sleeve length measurement, top to bottom, and an armpit to armpit. So people can reference that with their clothing items that they've got at home. Um, rather than saying it's a small, it's a medium, or it's a large, you don't wanna be doing that if it doesn't let you know on the actual item. So centimeter measurements are always the best way to go about your clothing. Um, this though is probably, I wanna say either late 80s or early 90s. I actually bought this in a recent vlog that some of you guys may have watched. Um, I paid $150 for it off Facebook Marketplace. And I listed it up onto eBay for $250 to try and make 70 bucks profit. Um, this was only last week. So the sell-through rate on this item has only been about two or three days. And we got a $225 best offer. So 225 bucks ends up being a $40 profit. So huge revenue, small profit. But I was so happy to go ahead with a $150 purchase because I knew that this would sell in the space of two to three days. Um, because that's just the case with these vintage jerseys. So they're not even a team right now in the NRL, our National Rugby League. The Illawarra Steelers have merged with the St. George Illawarra Dragons. Um, so that's why I knew that it was vintage when I saw that logo. Um, so yeah, definitely look for your vintage jerseys of all sporting codes. You can get massive money as you've seen with this one. Thanks very much for watching the video, guys. It is always very much appreciated. Just a little note before I end this one, uh, members videos, they are up and running thick and fast, coming at you. If you want some extra content, go and join up as a channel member. I'm gonna leave you with this video though right here, which was another day at the flea. Appreciate you being here for this one, guys. We'll see you over there.